here as you can see the MIUI version here is 13 it is based on EU 22.1.19 beta version and in the all specs here is showing RAM 6 plus 2 GB the 2 GB here is the virtual memory we are getting to see the Android 12 and the security patch level we get here is the 1st of January so this is a bit old version ROM but it's running absolutely fine it's just great now going back this is the settings the only additional thing we get here is the light customizations light that is it everything here else is MIUI 13 taking a look at the home screen UI this is the UI with the new widgets as you can see and these are all the new widgets which we have added there are several many more new available which we can add i'll show you each and every feature one by one so watch the video till the end first of all going to the settings these are the options and in the light customizations light these are the options we get we can change the charging color settings and these are the options available you can change the text color at start the end and everything you can set whatever you want then we can set the number of toggles in minimize shades the charging animation here is available but it, there is a bug in the charging animation i'll show it to you so by default we have the glow charging animation this is what it looks like the glow animation as you can see the glow animation here is looking fine but uh, when you change the glow animation to wave like uh, the wave animation here there is a bug present here this is what the wave animation looks like and as you can see the battery percentage just gets cut out so that's a bug with the wave animation and so these were the animation bugs present here otherwise these are the options screenshot in any app like if there are apps that not supporting screenshot that will also support like the in the incognito mode you will not be able to take screenshot and everything you will be able to take screenshot in any app if you turn this option on so which is a great option then we get to see these gestures on desktop that is it for the customization the extra customizations otherwise everything here is just the same the wallpaper and personalization here is same but here also there is a bug present i'll just show you in the library as you can see these are the new all the wallpapers available and these are the wallpapers but there are more 33 more wallpapers available but when you click the page will just not open so this is also a bug present here otherwise it's just the same the lock screen here is also same and in this MIUI the 120 hertz refresh rate here is working perfectly fine so no issues the 120 hertz it's smooth everything just works fine in the font settings these are the new font we get and we can customize the bold and light fonts whatever we want then in the battery these are the three modes we get to see the balance save battery and the performance performance will just be drain a bit of more battery but at the balance mode the battery backup on this room here is just great like it's better than the global room it's better than the all the other custom rooms so battery backup on this room is just great you will easily get around five hours of screen on time at 120 hertz so the battery backup on this room is just impressive then in the additional settings these are all just the same we get to see the one-handed mode which is not fine it works sometimes then in the memory extension this is the option available <laughs> this is the option for the sidebar available as you can see this is how it looks the new sidebar this if you want you can set to always show otherwise it will be just the video toolbox as the previous one you can set the position you can set the games the video apps so everything is just in one the video toolbox is the game turbo everything here is just in this sidebar moving to the home screen this is the ui and widgets are as I have shown in my previous video, there will be the, these are the widgets I have said and as you can see this is Shinchan widgets but the name here written is in Chinese so I'll, it's the only issue otherwise the widgets are just great. This is the new widget, the security widget which I feel is just great. The app behavior like the Twitter launched Chrome, the WhatsApp just auto started, the Twitter was launched from home screen. 
as you can see the true color access device info launched the facebook true color launched the facebook so as you can see it is restricted so these are this this is the security feature available and it is just very useful as you can see and you can directly set the permissions whatever you want and you can also set like if the app is getting your device info then you can just select the written blank messages and it will not give the device info to these that app so this security feature here is just a great feature i just loved this one i hope this feature comes to the global rom the another feature here is as you can see this battery toggle whenever the bluetooth gets connected as you can see here just like the ios widget it shows the battery on the of the earphones and the phone simultaneously if you connect any other bluetooth device then it will show that battery yeah so this feature is also just great talking about the camera here this is the ui and it's just the same as the normal camera nothing here is new it's just the same as 12.51 talking about the control center by default we get to see this new control center available so just no issues you don't have to externally install this by default we get to see this new control center i'll show you the another widgets here as you can see currently this widget page here is in fully in chinese as you can see when i go to see all this is in chinese so the widget page here in is in chinese so you need to find whatever you these are all the clock styles available as you can see this just feels great and if i said want to set this clock style as you can see this just feels great but the label will be in chinese that is the only problem but this widget here just feels great this is about as you can see the screen time currently it is not showing and when i open it this will just keeps on loading so this thing is a bug present here with the screen time now it's available so talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps everything here is just running perfectly fine no issues and overall performance also the rom is performing just great and everything here just feels great to me now talking about the ram management as you can see overall the 2.4 gb of ram here is available and the ram management here has been great but when you use it for more than a week then you will get only 1.5 gb of ram to free so if you reboot your phone then it will be this much around 2.9 so there will be no issues with the ram you just need to reboot your phone if you are not getting enough ram free so just reboot your phone that is it otherwise everything here is so far working just great the bugs i had already shown you there are some problems in this room but you can definitely use this as a daily driver this is a bit issue i have faced and it's irritating sometimes yeah then there is a major problem here i do not suggest you to use this room if you frequently change roms so this room will not able to not be able to boot to the recovery mode so like i have flashed this room you just need to flash this room as usual normal but uh, it will work fine but when you want to reboot to the recovery mode it will just not boot see to it as you can see this is what it happens you will not be able to get into recovery mode you now the solution for this is you just need to flash the stock rom using the b flash tool then again flash the custom recovery then flash another rom this is the solution to this otherwise there is no solution this is what it happens so for this reason i just do not suggest you to flash this rom but still if you want to try the miui 13 you can do that so that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye